Good day, everyone. So today we'll be looking at series and sequences. So first off, we're going to look at the meaning of series and sequences. In mathematics, there is no certain definition. Neither are you required to give a certain definition in your examinations. This is just barely to give you a idea, an idea of the topic series and sequences. So let's give you an example, a set of real numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We can observe that the number, next number in succession increases by 1. That is, when the first number is 1, then the next number increases by 1, which is 1 plus 1, which equals to 2. And then it continues when the second number, which is 2, plus 1, gives us 3. So that's that increase. So you can just see that there's a certain um, succession or increment in the numbers. So that just gives us an idea of sequences. There are also some other examples that you can look at. Let us look at 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Then we can look at it as the so how to find the next number is 2n plus 1. That is when our first number, given an example, is 0, then how do we get the next number? The next number, 2n plus 1. If we put 0 in, if we substitute n for 0, that will be 2 times 0, which will be 0 plus 1. That is 1. That gives our first one. When I'm giving our next number, which is 2, uh, put that into the equation. 2 times 1, which gives us 2 plus 1, which is 3. Remember that the numbers are in a particular order. It is not the numbers in the question, but the numbers, like your normal numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know that the first number is 1. And the second number is 3. You know, the first number is 1, the second number is 2, your third number is 3, and that is just it. So that is just a simple rule for finding sequences. So just now, each of these sets is written down in a definite order, and they have a simple rule to find their terms. So next, we'll go into series. Series is more of like the brother of sequences. Quite very, quite not that different from sequences. So... It says if let's go forward if you give an example one plus two plus three plus plus eight plus nine plus ten we can look at this um expression as a series basically the difference between series and sequences is just the additional sign but it's there's really no much difference it doesn't really affect um uh, your knowledge on it the difference is not really that um, lastly needed, but it's still good to know though. So on that series, we have finite series and infinite series. Just from the name alone, you can understand what it means. Finite series means that it ends after, it, it has an end basically. It ends as well a specific number of terms. It has an end, one, two, three, four, five. The last one is five. That is like a finite series but when something doesn't end then that is an infinite series you can see something like um 5 10 15 20 they see like um dot 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 that's like an infinite that's an example of an infinite series so that is basically just what you need to know on the meaning of series and sequences